So for the first time ever, guys, I am trying Benihana. I've never had it, I'm so excited. So if you haven't heard of Benihana, basically, um, it's a Japanese like fancy restaurant. I got appetizers, I got entrees, I got desserts. I got so many items, not the full menu because it is quite pricey, <laughs> like very pricey, but I'm so pumped to try them all. And fun fact, um, I, I haven't had Benihana, but my mom used to tell me that I think her and my dad had their like wedding um, rehearsal dinner there or something like that. And I was just an egg. So I couldn't do a taste test, <laughs> but I'm doing it today. I'm so excited. So let's talk about what I got. I got the shrimp tempura, steak yakisoba, which is basically like steak noodles, vegetable fried rice, vegetable tempura, spicy edamame, Mount Fuji chocolate cake, um, a vegetable sushi roll, because I don't like, listen, I tried fishy sushi. I didn't hate it, but I still prefer vegetable sushi, right? Spicy chicken wings, beef dumplings, spring rolls, spicy chicken rice, spicy chicken dumplings, traditional cheesecake, and that's that. Uh, I'm so pumped. By the way, subscribe to my channel, Tamise Takeout, for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests and fancy restaurant taste tests as well. Now, before we start, yesterday I tried the most amazing Japanese snacks. Here's that footage right now. This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. It's time to try some amazing Japanese snacks. So if you haven't heard of these amazing boxes, Tokyo Treat and Sakurako are both monthly Japanese snack subscription boxes. With Tokyo Treat, you'll get up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time with things like Sakura Pepsi and sake flavored Kit Kats and tons of other things. Now with Sakurako, you will receive 20 traditional, authentic artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and one piece of Japanese tableware every month. Sakurako also partners with local Japanese snack makers to continue to share Japanese culture and traditions that have been passed down over a hundred years. And both boxes come with a different theme every month to keep things fresh and exciting. These are the July boxes and they'll be available until June 30th. So if you want more like pop snacks, get Tokyo Treat. And if you want more like traditional snacks, get Sakurako. Okay, so let's see what's in the Sakurako box. We have the pamphlet, which is amazing, guys. Um, Tokyo Treat also comes with a pamphlet. Basically, it tells you all about the snacks. Um, it describes them. It shows you pictures of them. Like, this is the Sakurako one. Look at the pictures. Oh, my goodness. And this is the Tokyo Treat one. Obsessed. Okay, so here's the Sakurako snacks. Guys, these boxes are always so full. So many snacks. So many delicious things. And here's the piece of tableware super nice quality look how pretty it's a little bowl okay so let's first try this orange cake oh it's so pretty mm. it's like a lemon cake but like orange <laughs> and it has little pieces of orange in it too so good and then we have this chocolate bread oh my goodness guys mm. it's like a light dark chocolate flavor amazing let's try these peanut macarons Look how cute. Mmm. Tastes like a peanut butter cookie, but like super crunchy. So sweet. My favorite. Uh, let's try these seagull almonds. They look adorable. Looks like little eggs. So cute. Oh my God. They're soft. Wow. Oh my God. It's like a sweet milky coating. These are some of the best almonds I've ever had. Let's try this Roman sketch biscuit. It has a vanilla cream inside. So pretty. That's the crispiest cookie sandwich. It's so delicate. Here are some beautiful teas in the box. Oh my goodness. Let's try these Tamari, a rare, which seem like little cracker type things. Kind of just like a popcorn-y flavor. So crunchy, salty, delicious. Well, there's a ton of more Sakurako snacks to try, but I'm gonna save them for later because I'm gonna try some Tokyo Treat snacks right now. Okay, so we have some cookies and cream Kit Kats, guys. I'm ready for that. We have some chips. 
Oh my goodness. What is this? Looks amazing. A drink. A ramen. Oh my goodness. So many things. Let's try the cookies and cream Kit Kat. <gasps> oh my goodness. That tastes like ice cream on a Kit Kat. I'm not joking. So creamy. Now let's try these Satauchi lemon salt send by chips. Look at those guys. Look at the texture. They're so airy. They're so lemony, so salty. I can't stop. Let's try this Fanta Premium Lemon. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like Fanta meets lemonade. They go perfectly with the lemon chips. Let's try this apple pie. This looks amazing. It's so much lighter than the apple pie that we have here. It's like eating an apple pie cloud. Let's try these salty vanilla pockies. Mmm, the perfect balance. Wow. I'm so impressed with these boxes today. Like, oh my goodness. They're genuinely some of the best ones I've ever had. Let's try this Chocoto Soft Marshmallow Candy. It's like a little ice cream cone, guys. I can't. Oh my God, there's chocolate in it. Mmm. Well, guys, I tried so many snacks and I'm getting full, so I'm gonna save the rest for later. But wow, get these snacks. This month's Tokyo Treat Box is themed Summer Matsuri. It has the most exclusive and flavorful snacks that Japan's summer festivals have to offer. And Sakurako's theme this month is Tea Time in Yokohama. This month, Sakurako comes with a special design that is inspired by Yokohama with traditional Yokohama confectionaries, snacks, and teas. So get yourself one of these boxes, guys. Use my code Timmy to get $5 off your first Sakurako box or Tokyo Tree box. The links are at the top of the description, guys. Get some snacks. Okay, let's unbox everything, guys. This bag is so aesthetically gorgeous. I'm, like, obsessed. Okay, so I think these are the um, shrimp tempura. Ooh. Ooh, very, very long shrimps. Look at that. Shrimpies. Smells quite shrimpy. That's okay, though. And then, I mean, it, <laughs> it is shrimp, so. Um, what is this? <gasps> the vegetable tempura. I've never had vegetable tempura. I mean, I think it's an onion ring kind of, right? But like, I've never had like fried carrots and all that. So very fun. Um, we have some sauces here, some spicy mayo, love to see it. And what is this one? Not sure yet, we'll find out. And something else too, we'll see. And then we have the chocolate cake. So this is the um, Mount Fuji chocolate cake. And it looks a little small to me. I expected like something bigger just because it's called Mount. So it's like a mountain of cake. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it looks very nice. Very pretty, decadent. I'm so hungry, guys. Like, I am craving something sweet right now. Um, now this is the spicy edamame. So I love edamame, but I've never had spicy edamame. And I love spicy things, so this is gonna slay me. Look at that. Ooh, it's dripping. Ooh, it smells like chili. Oh, I love that. Wait, one second. Need a napkin. Now these are the spicy wings. Ooh. They smell very fried. Very nice. Very nice. They look plump. And then we have the cheesecake. Now this is a nice size. This is a bit bigger than the chocolate cake. Oh wow, that is a pretty slice of cheesecake. It looks very nice and dense. Oh my goodness. All right! Now I think this is the spicy um, chicken fried rice. Ooh. Oh, that smells incredible. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my Lord, I cannot wait. <laughs> I'm so excited. Now this is the vegetable sushi roll. I love veggie sushi so much. Wow, these are big slices, like very wide. Look at that, and there's like some like, what is that, kale popping out? Is that kale? Arugula, no, that's not arugula. That's, that's definitely kale, I think. Looks great, wow. Okay, and then we have um, the spring rolls and the beef dumplings. Ooh, wow, those are so golden brown. Like legit gorgeous, look at that. So nice. Oh my gosh. And then these are the um, spicy chicken dumplings. Wow, 
They look so seared. Ooh, open. Ooh, it's stuck. Get off. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. They look so seared and so gorgeous. Wow. Guys, fancy food, you know, sometimes the portions can be small, but they know what they're doing. They do. That's why it's fancy, right? And then last but not least, we have the um, steak yakisoba, I think. And it comes with like some, some sides. Oh, so it comes with the vegetable fried rice, but I think they gave me chicken fried rice instead, um, which is fine. Not a big deal. It's just the non-spicy version of the other one that I have here. And then it's some sort of salad, maybe like a, is that zucchini or cucumber? Uh, I think that's um, zucchini, yeah. It's like a zucchini salad or something. That looks really good. Okay, is everything here? Did they forget anything? I think everything is here, guys. Okay, so let me get my thumbnail and then we'll start feasting. I'm so hungry. I think I'm gonna use this like a little noodle plate in the thumbnail. On my last video, like multiple people said that my thumbnail moment was so cringy, like in a bad way. And I was like, what? I love doing my, doing my thumbnail moments. Like I don't, I don't mean for them to be cringy. I'm just trying to get a good shot. And then I just leave it in the video because you guys, at least most of you seem to like it. So hope it wasn't too cringy. So first things first, I think we should try the spicy edamame, right? I think so. Um, now, last time that I had um, edamame, I like squeezed them out. But someone said that I'm supposed to like squeeze them out with like my teeth, not my fingers. And so I'm gonna try that today. This one has some of the seasoning on it. Look at that. Focus. Focus. Oriana, stop it. Okay. Let's taste it. Mmm. Spicy. I love that. The seasoning. Mm. Am I supposed to do it that way? It's kind of hard. But, ooh, doing it that way, you can really get all the seasoning and like oil off of it. So good. Ooh, this one has a lot. A lot. Let's try it. Mm. Okay. I just took off all the seasoning. Mm. They're too slippery. I feel like hold on so tight. <laughs> I'll never let go. These are so good though. Mess. The edamame tastes perfect, fresh, delicious, crisp. Now, the seasoning on the outside is spicy, but it's not too spicy. It has a nice tang to it. It's kind of like, it's almost like a chili oil, but with like a bit more like powdery chili on top. It's so yummy. It really elevates the edamame to like another level. It makes it taste so much better. I really love that. I really love the spicy edamame. I'm gonna give it, I think, a nice nine out of 10. Very good start. So next up, let's try the sushi because it's, it's a little appetizer-y, right? We have the spicy mayo. Let's get a nice roll here. So it has some different veggies in it. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look on the app and see exactly what's in it so that we know. We'd love to learn. Um, so the vegetable roll has green leaf, avocado, cucumber, tomato, red cabbage, and pickled carrot. Sounds fantastic. Um, and it was $9. Um, and then the, um, spicy edamame was eight sixty. Okay. Let's, let's first try it without sauce and then with sauce. Okay. Mmm, 
Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I want to try one of these end pieces. Look at all that avocado, guys. So much. So thick. Oh my god. Okay, it's very good. It's very nice. Fun fact. I've never tried pickled ginger on my sushi, ever. What's wrong with me? I don't know. Let's try it. Let's put some pickled ginger and some, um, what's this called again? Wasabi, I totally forgot. Some wasabi, which I have had love wasabi. And let's dip into here too. Oh, my ginger. Okay, let's try it. Mmm, the ginger is really good. It's almost like a lighter ginger because it's been pickled, I think. So it's not nearly as strong as like raw ginger, you know? And the wasabi's iconic. Mmm! Mm. I have to slow down because I have so much to eat, but this sushi is great. Love the size of the pieces. It's very satisfying to bite into. All the veggies are so crisp and so fresh. And at first I was like, where's the flavor? But then I think that that pickled um, carrot really kicked in and brought the flavor in there. So yummy. Such good sushi. I'm giving it a 9.5 out of 10. So good. My nose is dripping, I think, from the edamame. Excuse me. Next up, let's try the, um, mm, I don't know. Let's do the vegetable tempura, okay? So it's fried veggies. That's an onion for sure. Zucchini got a bit soggy, it's fine. That that happens on the drive here, you know? Carrot, that's a mushroom, which I'm probably gonna avoid. I'm just not in the mood, guys. I'm not in the mood to push myself right now. I'm in the mood, <laughs> I'm in the mood for easy, delicious food. Um, one second, the price. Okay, so the vegetable tempura was $9.90, and it has actually bell pepper, onion, asparagus, carrot, zucchini, and shiitake mushrooms. Oh my goodness! Okay, let's first try the onion because it's like an onion ring, right? That's really lacking salt. Like it just, it tastes like the batter is totally plain and like totally saltless. So it tastes like an onion with like just super plain bread on it. I don't love that. Let's try the carrot. Okay. That's a little better, honestly. I don't know why. The carrot somehow works more. Maybe it's because it isn't competing with like an onion ring, you know, <laughs> you got me. Um, let's try the bell pepper. This could be interesting, very different. Mmm. I'm not a big bell pepper person, but with the breading, it reminds me of a jalapeno popper. Very nice, very nice. And it brought the flavor because it has that bell pepperiness, you know? Um, let's try the asparagus. I love asparagus so much. It's like my favorite vegetable ever, I think. Mmm! Mmm! This one really works. I've never had a fried asparagus in my life. It's very light. Still has the asparagus flavor, but the breading just elevates it. So far, the worst is the onion. I'm, a, I'm like shocked about that. 
More asparagus, please. So good. Mmm. Let's try the zucchini. The zucchini pieces are really soggy. And it's probably because zucchini is such a watery vegetable. Which is one of the reasons why I don't love it. Yeah, it's just like a, just, um, a soggy mess. But it tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty good breaded and fried. Okay, so overall, these are not my favorite because the breading really has no flavor. But depending on the vegetable, it can taste really good. So I'm going to give the um, vegetable tempura, I think, a 7 out of 10. Some of them I really enjoy, like the asparagus, like really a lot. Let me have this last asparagus. So yummy. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Next up, let's try the spring rolls and the beef dumplings. Exciting! So we have here some sort of a... What is that? It's very interesting. I was expecting like a mustard, but it doesn't smell like mustard. It's like very sour. And this is some sort of like um, soy saucy deliciousness. Okay, let's try the spring roll. I expected better. These spring rolls taste so mediocre. Let's try it with this yellow sauce. Mmm, great. Very tart. Mmm, what is that? Maybe there is mustard in it. I can't describe it. It's like a soy saucy mustard. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's try this um, soy saucy looking dip now. Mmm, that was great too. So, the sauces taste fantastic. I love the sauces. But the spring roll itself, like, the insides are very mushy. Like, they're not crisp veggies. They're, it's, it's, it's like a mush. And um, the, what's it called? Wrapping is a lot less um, crunchy than it looks. And there's not a lot of flavor. It's just very plain. It almost tastes like a store-bought, like, frozen um, spring roll. Not impressed. But now let's try the beef dumplings. Mmm. I think they're fried. Mmm. Very nice filling. Mmm. Okay, let's try it with this one. Mmm! Mmm! That is delicious. I don't think I've ever had a beef dumpling. I've had pork dumplings, I've had chicken dumplings, but not a beef one. And it really brings something different. It kind of tastes like um, a samosa meets a dumpling, and I love samosas so much. Just... It has like a nice beefy flavor, but not like a fatty flavor. And it still has those signature green onion and ginger flavors that these dumplings usually have, but the beef just complements them in a different way. And the, um, like the outside of them is just so delicious and crisp and perfect, perfectly thick, just fantastic. So I'm gonna give the spring rolls, I think a four out of 10 and the beef dumplings a 10 out of 10. Mmm, so good. So good. Okay. So, next up, let's do a dessert. Let's do the cheesecake. Now, I have said before that I think cheesecake might be my favorite food, like, ever. I'm just in love with it. Now, because it is my favorite food, I've had it so many times that I know my stuff. And if a cheesecake isn't up to par, I'm going to be honest and tell you guys, okay? I need a spoon. Okay. Oh, the price. The cheesecake was $9. 
It's supposed to come with a strawberry and a whipped cream, but it doesn't, which is totally fine. Not a big deal. Okay, let's see the texture up close, okay? Oh, sorry. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Let's get some crust. I'm excited. Mmm! Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Zonny. Oh my gosh. I can't stop. Oh. Um. Okay, let me pause. Oh my god. Okay, so the cheesecake. This is too high, sorry guys. The cheesecake is fantastic. It has an amazing, silky, smooth texture. It's not mushy, it's just very creamy, but it holds its shape, which is great. Um, it isn't too rich. Now, there is one odd thing. I feel like it's a bit more tart than the usual cheesecake. It almost has a key lime pie vibe because of that. Um, and that's not a bad thing, it's just different. It's just a bit more sour, but it's still very sweet. It's still very nice and I still love it. Mm. I'll drop some. Got it, okay. Yeah, so, oh my God, one more bite, I'm sorry. Mm. I love me, I love me, and I love this cheesecake. Self-love, okay. Mm. Oh, and the crust is absolutely perfect. Your perfect, typical graham cracker cookie crust. Perfect texture, perfect everything. I'm gonna give this cheesecake a 10 out of 10. It's, it isn't the best cheesecake ever, but it's a, it's a pretty perfect cheesecake still. So good. So, next up let's try the spicy chicken fried rice. So pumped about this. Ooh, so I got this as, a, as, as like an a la carte thing and it was their um, smallest size. And it was surprisingly like affordable, like for real. Let me see the price. Sorry guys, the menu is absolutely huge. Like just so many items. Ooh. So this is six ounces of it and it was only $6.70. Listen, this is like so heavy. This is like a meal amount. So for six bucks, that's really, really good. Like really good. The rice has a beautiful kind of orange color to it. Makes it look spicy. Let's get some chicken in there. Let's try it. Mm. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I just discovered flavor. Wow. Mm -hmm. I have to slow down, but wow. I think this is the best fried rice I've had in my life. In my life! So, it's genuinely spicy. 
I would say it's made like a 5 out of 10 on the spicy scale. Which is amazing. I love spiciness. You can taste the sriracha. I can taste, I think, sriracha. It's fantastic. There's so much flavor in this. Even the chicken, which looks very plain, has a nice saltiness to it. It uh, really brings it to life. The rice is so fluffy. It's absolutely perfect. It's so good. Guys, I'm screaming. This is my new go-to fried rice place and it's actually decently cheap. Six bucks, here for it. Oh my God, okay. Mmm. I'm giving the spicy chicken fried rice a 10 out of 10. Flawless, amazing, never the same. Next up, let's try the spicy chicken wings. Very pumped about these. So, it comes with six of them. Bone in. Bone in wings have been growing on me a lot, guys. I eat them a lot now. And I think this is the spicy sauce. My mouth is still kind of burning from the rice. Love it. Love the sensation. Ooh, it smells spicy. Okay. So, yeah. I have to, like, dip them in, I think. So, let's do it. Okay, man. Those are amazing. The sauce, the chicken wing. Wow. So, yes, yeah, the chicken wing itself is very simple, pretty plain, but it has a good amount like of salt and of pepper and the oil tastes fresh, so it tastes great. Just simple. Now the sauce is it. The sauce is like sweet, but not too sweet. Spicy, but not too spicy. It almost tastes like, bleh, sorry. <laughs> it almost tastes like a sweet and sour spicy sauce. Like, oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. These are amazing. Um, there's a lot of meat on the bones. Like they feel like high quality um, wings. So, <clears throat> love it so much. I'm giving these a 10 out of 10. Fantastic, fantastic wings. Next up, let's try the shrimp tempura, okay? So it looks like the exact same um, tempura batter as the veggies. And we have a sauce here. Let's see what it is. Oh, that's like a ginger sauce. Very gingery. Okay. This is the shrimp. Oh, it's very crispy. Let's try it. It's such a skinny shrimp. She's a dainty, guys. I've never seen a shrimp that skinny. It's not bad shrimp. Like the like the shrimp itself is good. I just spit. Sorry, it's not too fishy. It's nice quality, but the batter has no flavor and shrimp is a very simple tasting seafood you get me so it's like a basic batter on top of a basic little shrimp there's not much happening here not a lot of flavors happening and the sauce is good um it's just a bit too gingery and a bit too limey that it's a bit too much for this super basic thing it's like this is too much and this is too little and they just they have to meet in the middle somewhere and they're not. Do you get me? My nose is still dripping. Ugh. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have to give the shrimp tempura a 3.5 out of 10. Just needs more flavor, okay? So next up, let's try, uh, I think the spicy chicken dumplings. 
so pumped about these. So these are pan seared, not fry. And um, I've been loving all the spicy items at this restaurant, so I hope it slays me. Let's see. Okay. To be quite honest, they're not spicy at all. To me, it tastes like a typical chicken dumpling, which is, it's, it's fine, it's great. Great texture, great chicken dumpling flavor, but it's missing the spiciness. And I, I chose them specifically because it's so spicy. I love, I, you know, I love me some spicy food. So I'm a little disappointed, but it looks orange. I mean, there's a hint of a spicy flavor in there, but it's just not actually spicy. Do you get me? So yeah, it tastes like a triple dumpling with a little hint of maybe like chili pepper. And that's it. So it's fine. It's okay. It's good. I think I'm gonna have to give the spicy chicken dumplings a five out of 10. They're great. They just, they're not what they say they are, at least in my opinion. Okay, so guys, we only have the chocolate cake left and the noodles with the vegetable rice. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's do the noodles. Let's save that chocolate cake for last, okay? So here they are. They look amazing. Um, let's try this non-spicy rice. I think it's accidentally um, the chicken version. Okay. Which is totally fine. Mmm. Amazing fried rice. Wow. It doesn't have the spiciness that the other one had, but it has all the flavor. Mmm. Okay. Officially, Benihana is my new favorite fried rice place. 100%. Mmm. Everything's just perfectly salted. The perfect amount of flavor, soy sauciness, chicken tastes fantastic. It's just great. It's really just great. Like they did that. <laughs> they did that. Wow, okay. I'm gonna give the plain chicken fried rice a 10 out of 10. Perfect. Okay, let's try this zucchini. I think it's like a zucchini pasta with, with like onion, not pasta, salad. <laughs> with like onions and stuff. It tastes like a cold vegetable medley. It doesn't really have any flavors that are popping out, it just tastes like zucchini and onions, but cold. I need a fork for this pasta, oh my goodness. So this yakisoba noodles, um, I, mean, I mean these yakisoba noodles have steak and they look really good. Oh yes, by the way, I'm gonna give the um, zucchini stuff, I think a four out of 10. Let's try these yakisoba noodles, I'm so excited. They look so good and like flavorful. Oh my goodness, I'm ready. Let's first try it and then we'll try the steak. Mmm. That was not, that's not what I expected. Wow, let's try the steak. I don't love the steak. The steak tastes very plain, very beefy. Not a lot happening with it. But the noodles are so good. They're so different. I've never had anything like these noodles. Wow. So they taste like a ramen noodle, but with cloves in it, ground cloves. 
or nutmeg. It sounds like it wouldn't work, but it works. It's really good. It really adds a pow of flavor, unexpectedness, warmth. It really works. Yeah, it tastes like a delicious spiced ramen. So good. I'm giving the noodles a 9 out of 10 and the steak a 3 out of 10. Did not like it. It was so plain. Tastes like it had no seasonings on it whatsoever or sauces or anything. Wow! Yakisoba noodles are great. Okay. This taste test has been amazing, honestly. Like, such good food. Last but not least, let's try the chocolate cake, guys. I'm getting so full. Oh my goodness. The prices, I forgot the prices, guys. I'm so sorry. I've been forgetting them like the whole video. The spicy chicken dumplings were $9.40. The steak yakisoba meal was $17.40. It did, um, it did come with sides, so that's good. And then the chocolate cake was $9. So it says five layers of our dark chocolate filling and finished with an elegant dark chocolate ganache. Okay. Let's get a close up of that texture, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God, yes. That looks great. Okay. Let's try it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so full. This is so good though. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Goodness me. I can't stop. I can't stop. I'm gonna be so bloated. It's so worth it. Okay. 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 So, the bottom crust is like an Oreo dark, rich cookie. It's so good. And the texture is so crumbly. And then we have this layer of like mousse. It's very rich. So rich, like amazingly rich in a good way. And then there's like this chocolate cake, which is not rich at all. It's a very light chocolate cake. So it's a perfect balance between the mousse and the chocolate cake itself. And then on top we have a ganache. And the ganache is very rich. So we have rich, not rich, rich. And they all come together and make just a delicious, perfectly moist, moussey chocolate cake. I am so impressed with it. It's so good. The texture is so satisfying. It's very creamy and like rich and puddingy. So good. So good. I'm giving this chocolate cake a 10 out of 10. And I would eat the whole thing, but I'm so full. I can't even move right now. <laughs> so, wow, Betty Hanna was amazing, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know, let me know in the comments below, have you tried Benny Hanna? And if you have, what's your favorite thing to get there? And if you haven't, what looks the best to you. Also, thank you so much to um, Tokyo Treat and Sakurako for sponsoring this video. It was so much fun. Guys, go and check them out. The link is at the top of the description. So yeah, I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Oh.